I came to paediatric palliative care has been quite an interesting journey for me. I didn't start out or have an aspiration to work in paediatric palliative care. I, um, I, I moved to Australia because, or well, 30 years ago now, because I had an interest in paediatrics in general and there was limited availability for that in New Zealand and, um, and I wished to pursue some study in paediatrics particularly paediatric nursing and then as a result of that I ended up at the children's hospital and I just made myself available to work with their, wherever they wanted me to work as a nurse and it turned out that not a lot of people wanted to work with children with cancer so I was quite happy to do that and as a result of that I, obviously you end up looking after children that um, um, uh, uh, become palliative or, or are dying as part of that job and um, as time went by I progressed my career through that through that department and worked for 10 years there and um, did some study regarding palliative care, became interested in it and then a position came up and it was a brand new position at the children's hospital and that was um, a palliative care department was being formed and in it in its infancy now, which is was 2001, and um, and so I was off, uh, offered to apply for that, and that became um, my career, I suppose, and that's where my interest started, and and I've stayed with it for the last 10 years, so that's how it came about. Pediatric palliative care with children has some very special um, needs with it. I think perhaps one of the most important areas that nurses should think about if they're thinking of working with children or they find themselves in a position working with children receiving palliative care is that you can't care for a child in isolation. You have to care for the whole family. So that means things like you have to think about what's happening with the siblings, who's, who's the mum or the dad got to care for the other children while they attend appointments or what's going to happen to, this, to the rest of the family because a child's got a symptom that's out of control and needs managing or, or how do you plan palliative care and end of life care for this child in the context of their family. So every decision you make um, has to be in the context of that child's family. I think, I think that's one thing. I think as far as the children themselves are concerned, you have to be very honest um, with them because children are very good at seeing through people and so if you approach them in any way that's other than honest as to who you are and your interest and your care in them, that means getting to know them, that means finding out what their interests are, as well as caring for them in the um, physical needs that they might have. I think that's really important. I think often the needs of the children and the illnesses that they have, because one thing is probably um, different with paediatrics is that you can look after 10 children who have got an illness that you've never heard of and you might not have that same particular illness for another 10 years. So there's, it's not same, same, so to speak. There's a diversity of illnesses and sometimes those are very complex and I think you need... Um, you need all the resources that are available. So it's very much a team approach, not just a paediatric palliative care specialist team, but a community team, uh, everyone that's in regional areas, everyone that's available to support these families. They actually need it all. Yeah. Sometimes there's a fear out in the general community of looking after children and worrying about um, not, not being skilled enough to look after uh, children receiving palliative care. And the important thing is that they're primarily children. And most people have had to do with children in their lives. Most people have got, if not their own children, they've got relatives, they've got friends that have got children. And if you can just think about the child as a child and then there are so many resources now available from specialist centres that are very willing and we are always very willing to back people up and, and my experience has been especially away from urban areas um, uh, if we provide support to people that are caring for a child that has an illness that they may not have ever heard of or has a symptom that's 
very difficult to manage. If we support them, then they are very willing and do a very good job in caring for them. So I encourage people, I suppose, to take the ball by the horns and not back away from caring for children because they may not have trained for it or they may not be prepared for it. But, you know, it's such a rewarding experience. You get so much back from these kids. And so I just say my message would be, you know, go for it. And if you are honest and if you're caring and if you are willing to just look at the child, you'll be able to do it. Care Search has a really important role to play. One of the greatest things for me in my personal professional career is that Care Search has provided an avenue for us to collect data um, and benchmark that against other paediatric palliative care services. Um, paediatric palliative care is a small area of medicine and so that's actually become very important when you're looking for ways to improve the care that you provide to these families. You benchmark against other services and see if the gaps in the, in the care are the same, seeing if what you're doing well is the same. So, and Care Search have provided us an avenue to collect that and then to benchmark against each other. And the other thing is, as a paediatric palliative care specialist centre where I work, I have loads of people calling and and asking for resources, how to get resources and care search. You know, there's so much information on there. There's courses that are available, there's articles. You could just go on and on about all the information that's on there and I think having it available in one place and and if care search site isn't able to provide it, they've got all the links there to provide, you know, to access other sites. So I think it's really valuable and, and I use it all the time to promote um, people's access to resources, yeah.